so Project Luminous, which was originally called the All Stars Initiative, um, went through so many names. We were very shocked. Sounds a bit self actually. Yeah. All Stars I know. That was basically them trying to go, you're the All Star, come and work with us. So basically, I was, I've been doing some stuff on various projects we've been working on Stars Adventures for IDW. Um, I think, had I started Vader's Mouse Pride? I can't remember. It was a, I, I've been doing, I did some Choose Your Own Adventure books, um, the Choose Your Destiny books. I'd never read the Choose Your Own Adventure book before I had to work out how to do it. I told them I knew, um, and then I went away and had to work out how to do it. Um, and it was at San Diego Comic Con, I was having breakfast with Mike Blaine, who was from Publisher, and I had all these ideas of what I should go and pitch. Um, and he blew them all out of the water by saying to me, we're doing this thing, um, would you like to be involved? And he sort of explained a little bit of what, it wasn't the higher Republic, you know, it, 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 he talked about the initiative, the fact that it was going to be books and comics, and I think it was the only books and comics then, it was like, it, it, it grew so much in the, in the creation of it. Um, and he said, there's going to be four other writers, I'm not going to tell you who they are, um, you have to commit to at least five years' work. Um, you'll go to Skywalker, and I was like, yep, yep, I'm in, yeah. Um, and it was pretty much like, you know, and so there, it was, he, yeah, because he didn't tell me who the other words because he hadn't asked a couple of them yet. He didn't know what we were going to say. But they had an idea of the people that were. They knew exactly who the five were. And we were all there. We were all at San Diego. So I think we all knew we'd been asked, but obviously you didn't know the other person had been asked. And so, um, and I agreed to it almost immediately. Um, I was in a hotel room with George Mann, who's now one of the writers of the Phase 2 of My Republic. And I went up and told him, and so I said, this is thing, do you think I should do it? He's like, yeah, of course you do. He's like, yeah, I've already said yes. Um, and yeah, and then, we, you know, then this date for going to Skywalker Ranch appeared in the diary. And we still didn't know who it was that was going to, we were going to be working with. And it was like two weeks away. Still didn't know. Um, and then this email arrives from Mike saying, I'm pleased to announce the people, you know, that the, the, again, this was before the All Stars, as he called us, because he was trying to, you know, flatter us, um, butter us up. And it was the you know, Claudia, Justine, and Daniel, and Charles, and me. And I think we all independently breathed a sigh of relief because we knew each other. Not as well as we do now, you know, we, we knew, we, we thought we could work together. We liked each other's work. Um, and also we were very excited, we were going to Skywalker Ranch at a point. Um, and so it was, it was a very odd way to start it, but that's the way it was. And so yeah, we, had, we met in, um, at the Luke's from my quarters in, in San Francisco, um, and we were all still a little bit giddy with it all, and then we were shipped off to Skywalker, which is like going to Disneyland. You know? Tell us a bit more about the experience of being there. Skywalker Ranch is magic. It was created to be creative, and you can feel it as, you, as you're there, you know. The, the, I love, it's the, George Lucas created these buildings, which, you know, are, are, are fake history, and he literally created fake history for them. I mean, he's created the history that the family lived in that main house, and it's like, it's all, it's not real. But it feels like, you know, and, and there are, I think the one moment that some, sometimes up for all of us, the library there, it's like something out of film. It's like something out of Indiana Jones. Um, you're not allowed to take cameras in there. You're not allowed to. You, know, you have to leave everything in the door. Um, and it's just this sword from the, the, the wood from the surrounding area and spiral staircase. And there's a fireplace with a fire that is never lit because it would ruin the books. Um, and the most knowledgeable librarian, which we all wanted her job immediately, um, and like a, a bugle on the wall from Indiana Jones and all these. Um, and that room really itself, I, I, I go back to that room in my head my God. Um, because we, when we were working on things, we had times, we'd have big meetings, I suppose we'll get into that in a minute. Then we'd have moments where we'd break off independently, and go and think, and I always just ran to the library, you know, to be the first person there. And I ended up going back and buying some of the books that I'd read, you know, picked up the library, and um, just to I remember that experience. So, yeah, it's a magical place. And uh, we were all just wandering around all the time looking at each other and laughing. It doesn't. You go, they, they put on, it was amazing. They put on the first, when the 4K Star Wars print 
Um, Story Group haven't seen Next yet. Um, they put it on for us in George's theatre that's there. And you look up and you go, I recognise those two statues. Oh no, they're Palpatine's sister statues, are just there, but you know, and it's and it, it's, it's moments like that. Um, so it's you're just a fanboy. I was just time. such a fanboy. And also feeling the incredible pressure of being there and in massive amount of clusters in there. Um, which fed into some of the stuff I wrote for Star for High Republic. I mean again this is before we knew what High Republic was gonna be and I just remember sitting around this table and there's a shot that's been in a lot of books recently, it's gonna be in the art of book that's coming, of all of us sitting um, you know, behind the table on that first day. Um, and I can just remember sitting there going, I don't really get why I'm here and feeling completely overwhelmed by it. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's literally, it's a magical place. An absolute magical place. And then you're sitting all on these tables, and then they just told you what was going on in the High Republic, or even the name High Republic. No, 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 the High Republic didn't turn, didn't turn for long. No, no one told us, we created it, and, and no one told us. They told us um, about what else was happening in the galaxy. Um, and so we had a loose lip sync charged starships moment when they we had signed many things. This is before Rise, this is before Mando, and um, there was one moment when we, we pitched a baby Yoda, and there was a moment when the entire story group just vanished into the corner of a room, and we were like, something's happened. And then they go, just hang on a minute, and then you could hear saying, should we tell them? Should we tell, can we tell them? Can we, we, can, we can't tell them. And they came back and went, right. You can't do Baby Yoda, and here's why. Um, and so, yeah, the, we spent the first morning going through everything they were doing, and put them putting some guards in place. You can't really go over there, you can't, there's certain things you can't touch. But there was so much left. And then we spent the rest of that day, there is the infamous whiteboard, which has been doing the rounds on the internet, which is just one whiteboard out of hundreds, um, which is us just, it's a bit more about what we loved about stuff and what we like about storytelling and it's funny because people analyse, there's a little bit where it's like follow and watch things that we would like to write and people analyse it, oh that's the bit in Rise of the Storm and that's the bit, it's, like, it's just shouting words at the board, you know, and dinosaurs and, um, and that was all just because Daniel had just written a book about dinosaurs and I'd written a book about dinosaurs so we just kept saying dinosaurs between us um, so it's on there, people have read far too much of it. Um, and yeah, and so what happened that first week is that we were basically all asked to, we discussed about the types of stories we could tell, um, and we were all asked to come up with an idea, um, and went away on the penultimate day, um, I ran to the library and scribbled down a presentation, and the five of us presented what our version of what would become, because Luminous hasn't even mentioned many, and what would become Project Luminous. And we discussed it a bit, and then the, the, we left for the week, and um, I was the last one to leave, and I was standing at the door waving as if I lived there, going, oh, you come back? I'm like, no, I'm never going. Um, we went home and all wrote up, and I wrote up this, um, this document, 10-page document, um, which was called The High Republic, and um, we sent them in. And again, we had a second week round at Skywalker, which we would go through. And we didn't know until we were leaving what one had been chosen. Because they all went back to Kathy, they all went back to Story Group, um, they went back to various different people in Lucasfilm. And as I was leaving to come go to the Apple to fly over to California, I heard that my one had been chosen, but then that doesn't mean that what you now have that my Republic is everything. There's, there's some phrase in there. The nameless is mentioned quite a lot. Don't know what happened to them. Um, there was a young Jedi called Keith Trennis in there. Um, there. There's lots of things that are now in there, but what we did in that second week is that we went back and we ran through my document and we pulled it apart and we put it back together again. And we took the elements from some of the some of the other stories. And so that's, because I've said before, if you listen to Dooku Jedi Lost or read the script book, there are references to all five of the original ideas in there because I didn't know which was going to be chosen. So I was trying to put these straights in for everything so I could then be the first mention on Wikipedia. Um, 
and, and also um, Claudia did it in, in Master and Apprentice as well, because um, at that point we had no idea. And so it was only in that second week that the high 